up where we were able to pick three gallon bags worth of big red juicy strawberries. Um, strawberry is my absolute favorite. It was the height of the season in Florida. Usually season of picking typically starts in December, can go typically February or March. So we were able to do that with the kids and it was a lot of fun. Growing up in Florida, I'm very used to having abundance of strawberries in the winter time. Whereas here now, living in such a high altitude, uh, last year was my first time not being able to have strawberries until the summer. So that was a big change for me. But since we were taking the trip, I knew that I wanted to try my hand at making some strawberry jam and maybe some other fun strawberry products. Um, we'll see how many we have left over at the end. But I wanted to try my hand at canning them and making them myself because we're trying new things on this channel. So I am using my Ball Home Preservation book for the recipe today and the things that we're going to need are we've got a whole package of pectin that we're going to be using we're going to have seven cups of sugar we're going to do about a quarter cup i believe of lemon juice and then we're going to need five cups of strawberries now i don't know how many cups of strawberries one of these bags is going to make us so i'm going to have to boil them and mash them down a bit and then probably do some messy measuring to see if I have five cups and then just slowly add from there if I need to. But that's okay. We should be making eight half pint jars today and we're going to be using the Presso electric pressure cooker again to do the hot water boiling water bath method of jars. So last time for the beans we did the pressure canning method but this time we're going to be doing the boiling water method. So I'm excited to try that today. And things that I've already done, I've washed the lids from these jars and I've taken the rings off. They're sitting over there by the sink. And we're going to get these jars in the pressure canner to start heating. And then we're going to get our strawberries and our lemon juice on the stove. So let's get started. All right, here we have the pressure canner. I have the inside of the pot filled with water up to the fill line. And now I'm gonna take my jars, which I've also filled halfway up. We're gonna put them in the canner to get them warm. Now we're gonna place the lid on. And we've removed the regulator because we're not going to be using the regulator for the boiling water canning method. That's only for the pressure cooking method. And we'll attach the lid. And now we're going to press start. And this is going to take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes while we move on to the stove. And we're gonna to need to boil some more water in our kettle for later because we're going to need to fill up the rest of this to about an inch above the top of the jars for when we go to water back can our jam. All right, so I have my Dutch oven on the stove and we're going to start with one bag of the frozen strawberries. So as you saw before, these have already been washed and had the tops cut off and they were thrown in a bag in the freezer. So we are going to go ahead and stick one whole bag in here. And turn this on pretty high heat. And I'm gonna add a quarter cup of the lemon juice. And after we boil this down and mash it up a bit, we will see if we need more strawberries.
Now that the strawberries have started to soften, I'm gonna use my potato masher and try to mash them down a bit so that we can measure out our five cups appropriately. All right, now for the probably messy part. I need to measure out five cups. So let's see. I'm gonna take a cup measure and I have, this is a four cup measuring glass here, but it'll give us a good idea of if we need to add any more strawberries to this. I'm thinking we might be right on the money, but let's find out. All right, so that's four cups. And we need one more cup worth. I think we were really close. I think we have a little bit too much. So I'm gonna skim off a little bit and then we should be good to go. All right, we're gonna crank our heat back up. We've got our five cups of strawberries plus our lemon juice in here. And then next we're going to add our pectin. We're gonna use this whole package and stir that in and bring it to a good boil. All right, this is boiling pretty good. So now we're gonna put in seven cups of sugar all at once. return to a boil and then we'll take it off the heat. So our jars are done warming. It now says fill jars and it really only took a couple of minutes, not that long. So we're going to open that to unlock it. Take off our lid and then we're going to pour all the water in these jars back into here and then we'll add some more water with our kettle. All right, we've taken our jam off of high heat. I'm gonna skim a bit of, of this foam off the top, just to get a little bit of a better product. So I've got my finished product here. I've got my warm jars here and I'm gonna use my filling funnel to put in each jar and then we're going to be filling it up to a quarter inch headspace. see where we are. So I've measured a quarter inch and it's about to the top of this middle rim here. So we need to do a little bit more. That's pretty good. 
keep doing that until you fill up all your jars. All right, now we're going to take some kind of stick. I'm just gonna use this. And we're going to push that into each one and make sure that there aren't any bubbles. And then we'll adjust and add or take away a little bit as needed to make sure it has the right amount of headspace. Our jar filling was pretty messy, so I'm gonna make sure that I wipe the rims really well with some white vinegar and a paper towel. Right now we're gonna put our clean lids on all the jars. And then we will screw on the rings and we can put them back into the canner. So after putting these back in the canner, the water comes to just about the lid level, but we need to put hot water in there up to an inch over the tops. Now we'll place our cover back on. Make sure this is locked into place. And then we will press start button and we've got our 10 minutes on of cooking time and it's to the heat setting so now this is going to heat up cook for 10 minutes and then cool down and we will have some canned jam i should have done a taste test before canning it up but here we are not much we can do about it now that is very sweet but very good. These strawberries are incredible. They smell incredible as soon as I took them out of the bag in the freezer. My kids will like this very much. I'm just gonna jar up the little bit of extra that I have and stick it in the fridge and we'll eat it right now. All right, we got beeped out that we're done, so we are ready to take this lid off and see what we've got. All right, I've got my grabber tool here, which I've invested in and know that it will be well worth it compared to trying to get these very hot jars out another way. But let's see how our jam turned out.
just toweling these off a bit. I do hear some lid popping sounds, so I'm not exactly sure what that means. I really hope that these sealed nicely, but it looks pretty good so far. They don't boil like the beans did because they're not pressure canned. So it'll be interesting to see how this turned out compared. Oh, definitely don't have a seal here. All right, we've got one culprit, but we're gonna give these 12 to 24 hours. So it's about noon right now. So in the morning, I will check on these and unscrew the rings and see if they all turned out, except for that naughty one right there. Thank you for following along as we made jam, strawberry jam for the first time. I'm very excited to see how these turn out and from what I've tasted so far, it tastes absolutely delicious. So I'm very happy with how this worked out and I think that I did everything correctly. So we'll see how it goes. But I only used one out of the three gallon size bag of strawberries that I have. So I have two still in the freezer. So I need to come up with ideas for those two and especially so they don't take up my freezer space. So kinds of things that I'm thinking, I've heard of a strawberry lemonade, maybe concentrate that might be really nice to have in the spring and summer. I was also thinking about a strawberry pie filling. I'm not sure I'm used to having in my childhood a strawberry pie that was made with strawberry jello and some cut up strawberries inside of it. So I don't know if that's something I can pre-make. So we'll see, I'll think about that. I also know that I could probably just save the strawberries and make them into popsicles during the summertime, but it would be really nice to have something prepped and ready to go instead of waiting until the summer to do it. So let me know, what is your favorite way to use strawberries, um, especially the frozen ones that I can get out of my freezer and turn into something really cool and easy to use like this. So let me know your favorite ways to use strawberries. Uh, if you have any good recipes, please leave them in a comment below and we could try it out because I have a lot of strawberries to get through. And although I love eating strawberries fresh, I knew that I wanted to freeze them so that I could come up with a bunch of things to use them for. So let me know. I would love that to read your comments and I'm so excited to have our jam and we're going to be using this for a long, long time. So thanks for joining and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.